Hi guys, time for another instructional video. This time we are looking at our brand new and very fancy digital instrument cluster. Uh, you can find this from any uh, Tiffin Allegro Breeze from 2020 onwards. It's a very, very cool feature of our, uh, of our latest coach. So I've just turned the ignition on and got it to start up. I'll show you through a few of the very cool features that it's got. Let's start the coach up. So straight away you can see that there's a lot more information readily available than the, than the previous instrument cluster setup that we've had. So starting at the top right we've got water temp up here um, and then underneath that we have oil pressure. Uh, obviously your, your speedo is here on your left with a uh, display in the center as to uh, how many kilometers an hour you're going. Underneath that we have our fuel gauge. Um, same sort of setup as the, the last uh, instrument cluster where the generator fuel gauge is actually the same it's within there but once you get to an eighth of a tank it won't let the generator start um, we've got some warning lights and bits and pieces up in the center uh, of the uh, the cluster here um, we've got a, a warning that's in the middle here saying your pre-drive items I'll get to that in a second we have trip meters and uh, fuel economies and how much distance we have left um, disregard these these figures that the, the coach has been idling and hasn't been driven anywhere yet so it's uh, it's obviously not displaying its correct economy and distance to empty um, over on the right we've got our tachometer um, so that shows us where uh, what our revs are doing uh, within that we've got our DEF add blue tank level we have chassis battery voltage and we have front and rear air pressure uh, levels uh, it's got a, a, a temperature reading down here and uh, within the middle section here we can actually customize that so over on the driver's console here we have a new rotary knob uh, which spins on the side to select different things and it pushes on the top to confirm different bits and pieces so so I'll use this uh, this rotary knob up here and I'll show you some of the different features of it. So that's the, the one that we were on before. Um, and I'm achieving these, these changes just by turning the, the rotary knob uh, to the right at the moment. So we've got transmission temp there, the pre-drive checklist at the moment. So this is quite a cool feature that it's it recognizes that the vehicle is not in travel mode at the moment. So it's uh, saying that you're, you're not at ride height. Um, so that will go off when you uh, achieve travel mode by uh, pushing travel on your level keypad. So we've got brightness settings, uh, you can change that. And we go into the actual settings menu. Not only can you change the background, um, sound volumes and units, um, there's different graphic schemes so you can change the, uh, the appearance of the, the cluster itself so there's a, a few different schemes there if you want something pretty leery the blue ones pretty out there but um, yeah you uh, select which one you want by pushing the button on the top you can even change your needle color if you want to to whatever floats your boat um, okay so another really cool part of this is our onboard diagnostic system so um, we can click into that by using the rotary knob round to the clockwise and then pushing the button down. Um, so we have system info, um, we have OBD info, J1939 is our communications system within the coach um, and then we have RVC which is all our different um, systems that are on board whether it be engine or transmission or, or whatnot. So OBD is going to be a very, very useful piece of uh, diagnostic equipment. Um, so if you have a, a engine check light or a warning lamp come up, you can scroll into this menu and it will list here any of the faults that it's that it's currently got. Um, so yeah, super handy for, for uh, diagnostics when you're on the road. Uh, J1939, as I said, is all our communication system. So this will actually um, show us all the uh, the different engine transmission shift consoles brake suspension uh, body controllers all sorts of stuff um, and it's manufacturer ID and who it's manufactured by so um, yeah very uh, very handy feature for uh, for down the track 
So the RVC will show us all the CAN bus errors that are coming up. Obviously we don't have anything there at the moment because everything's hunky-dory. Um, so just another click to, to back out of that menu. And then I'm gonna scroll down to back. Configuration won't be necessary for you to get into. That'll be more so for uh, our service team uh, for their side of bits and pieces. But yeah, very cool instrument cluster uh, with a lot more user-friendly and a, a lot more uh, information that's easier to be seen so uh, and very customizable 